a hello, welcome, you're here for one reason, Bob Clemp, I suppose, well then, let's get started with it. It all started in 1913 in San Diego of California where he was born, and with the inspiration of puppetry and animation at a young age, he set out to make his own. Sounds like an intriguing guy to me. With the new medium of animation and sounds, he joined Harmonizing Studios. The one and only Leon Schlesinger noticed some of his work and decided to give him an assistant position. He continued to work as an animator under Fritz Freeling. What a lucky guy, I'll say. With his talent and an unexpected character crisis with Schlesinger, Porky Pig was created. You know, that kind of pig that frequently stutters. Can't miss him. He's also behind some of the Lootoons episodes, such as the Great Piggy Bank Robbery, a coin and and the one you might know, Wabbit Trouble, probably because of the meme a few months back. He worked around with Tex Avery, Chuck Jones, and Virgil Ross, to name a few creating episodes that soon got popularized, eventually taking more control along the way as his ear and jack style became more grounded into the show. Eventually, in 1946, the studio was bought by Warner. How surprising. His executives left, taking him also to Screen Gems to Columbia Pictures. He was all over the place, basically. Then, in 1949, he created Time for Beanie and did a few directed roles in an animated cut part called Beanie and CCO in 1959. After that, in his later days, he became a lecturer as he taught colleges and even got a documentary in 1975. Unfortunately, in 1984, a few days later, of May 2nd, he died of a heart attack. It's a bad state for it to be like that, but his works will not be forgotten. He created memorable characters for generations to enjoy, produced original fascinating shows, and was even behind in some of the Lutus episodes with the over-the-top slapstick. That, my folks, is Bob Clampett. Thank you.